Mr. Chairman of the Commission, the crew is reporting for the complex exams in the Russian segment. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Over here. Just closer to the table, please. The crew is ready. I think we will show everybody that we are completely ready during our complex exams. I'm happy to work with my crew. They're my kind of people. Our crew is very calm and very competent. The way that, uh, that the Russian space agency is trading their astronauts for uh, five decades now and to be a part of that and uh, and be part of this international partnership for the last two decades, it's just, uh, it's been a tremendous honor. We really enjoyed the training and they prepared us well to fly. Well, for me, um, I have to say that it being the second time, I have been able to really, really enjoy the training because I felt as if I, at this time, I could really take a step back and just uh, focus on what I know is important for the flight. Um, take the time to really absorb the atmosphere, to really absorb the, the training, to communicate with the instructors, and also give back some of my experience to them. So it's been more of an exchange rather than me absorbing everything, and it's uh, it's been an incredible experience. And being able to share it with Drew on his first flight has been really, it's been really a lot of fun. Uh, Drew's probably used to it. Uh, every time I do any kind of briefing, I say, or any kind of exams, let's take five seconds to make sure that we are having fun. We should be having fun. If we're not, there are a lot of people that would be having fun doing this, so we should be having some fun. Over here at first, please. Just like this. Zoom in closer. Go up here. 
Mr. Chairman of the exam commission, the crew is reporting for the exams. You are ready? Yes. Go ahead. Follow me. Just like this. And click louder, please. Alexander Alexandrovich, about yesterday's exam. Well, we had a good start yesterday, actually an excellent start, because we got excellent marks for the ISS exam. And uh, we did so many tests already and so much training that um, they've become a habit. So the main thing is to be calm and be confident. Yesterday, I saw you all doing very well. <laughs> well, we know that today they have their exam ticket already. It's a lottery. The questions can repeat, but we are ready, and we will try not to make any mistakes. I think we will just have nominal work as usually. Drew, you're a first-time space flyer. Describe what it's been like training with your colleagues as you prepare for your very first flight to space. Well, I've always said that the most important thing in spaceflight is being part of a team, the thing that I've enjoyed the most. And I'm lucky enough to be part of a team that is stronger together than we are as, as individuals. So that has been the most rewarding part. That's the thing that will be most memorable to me. And that's the, uh, that's the thing that I, I want all of us to remember. been like this particular training mission as you plan to go back to the International Space Station and train here in Star City. So I will focus a little bit on the on the, on the training that I've received for the Soyuz. Uh, I have to say I love this spacecraft. I, I, I really do. Uh, just like any pilot loves this airplane, I, I fall in love with this, with this, air, this spacecraft and going through the training for the second time, I have enjoyed it so much more being able to focus on what I know is important and uh, being able to absorb so much more than the first time, not only because I already know the machine, but also because my Russian uh, has improved through the years. And so I feel that I, that I know the spacecraft and that I, um, I, I feel so confident uh, about all the features that it offers. And so I'm looking forward uh, to this flight as much as I was to the first, the first time. Yeah. Uh, that was... yeah. Yeah. Ah. 
in italiano? Italiansky. Allora, Luca, per la prima volta un astronauta italiano sarà comandante della stazione, eh, stazione spaziale internazionale. Cosa significa questo per te e nei fatti? Ma, eh, per me eh, è sicuramente un, una dimostrazione che nel passato sono son riuscito a, eh, a dare la confidenza a, al programma della Stazione Spaziale Internazionale che eh, il programma astronautico europeo ha la, lo stesso valore dei programmi eh, russi americani per cui eh, dare in mano la gestione di una missione a un astronauta europeo, italiano nel mio caso, è ormai eh, una, una prassi consolidata. E per quanto riguarda l'Italia eh, credo che sia il risultato di un sistema, un sistema che quando vuole dà dei prodotti eh, di valore. Eh, chiaramente non mi riferisco soltanto a me stesso, ma ai miei colleghi, a chi lavora nel mondo dello spazio, a chi lavora nel mondo dell'aerospazio. Eh, chi eh, lavora all'estero come me sa che eh, nonostante eh, i problemi esistenti all'interno del Paese, quando poi eh, un sistema si mette dietro eh, un individuo, una persona, per sostenerlo, i risultati possono essere davvero elevati. It was wonderful to hear such mellifluous Italian language. And question to Alexander. When was it uh, the most worrying for you to go through exams? It's always a worry to go through them. But uh, before I was an astronaut uh, in the cosmonaut corps, I went through more than 50 exams, uh, and uh, I'm preparing for the third time to go to the station. And of course, uh, I am worried, uh, but uh, not too much. I'm in a fighting spirit and I'm hoping to do everything correctly so that our teachers, our instructors know that we are qualified. Good words. Your instructors will be glad to hear that. And let us do another photographs with a handshake. I need some water, please. That's good. Thank you. Yes, just like this. Red zone here.
As usual. Logistics. Mr. Chairman of the exam panel, the crew is ready for the exam. Can you hear us? Yes, some questions now. Sergey, you are starting the complex exams, and you have a representative of JAXA and uh, Roscosmos and NASA. Was it difficult to find a common language? I've been enjoying our training not only because I have experienced comrades, but also because they are good people, good friends. We found a common language very easily and quickly, and we understand one another without words by now. We are ready for the work that is in front of us. Uh, Saichi already had some flight experience uh, as well as you. Did it help you with the exams? And your th third crew member, of course, he could uh, rely on you, on your experience. Yes, indeed, we are sharing what we know and helping one another. We are always trying to learn more and more to be more professional. Um, tell us, um, how has your training gone so far here at Star City? Do you feel ready? Do you have questions? Uh, it's been excellent. It's been accelerated <clears throat> about 13 months, but um, the work, the instructors are very excellent. They are, are passionate about ensuring uh, the safety of the crew and make sure we need to we know everything we need to know. And uh, have a very experienced crew that I'm flying with. So Ichi was in the left seat and now on the right. So um, it's, it's been a fantastic training experience and I feel like we're ready. And a question to Saichi. You speak Russian very well, don't you? Not really. So you would like uh, to speak English? And how do you talk with one another? We are trying to learn Japanese, and Saichi is learning Russian. So we are quite successful in our communication. It looks like the crew is very experienced, so we wish you good luck with your exams. Any more questions to the crew? You have a lot of work ahead of you. And what has been the most interesting for you? And what are you looking forward most to? Well, we are trying to be as supportive as we can of the prime crew and uh, dreaming of getting to the space station. Thank you. And now, photograph. <laughs> 